It's Game of the Week time, and this week is a stockholder's vote. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, one out in a 6-5 to five to 5, 4, I think, vote. Um, I, so, vote I think I voted for like cars or something. I was thinking about uh, voting for something other than this game, and then like me voting, and then I get to break the tie. So I do always want to break the tie for. Here. I know, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to let them win this one. So we're talking about Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Uh, yep. According to X360A, it is a 3 out of 10 estimated achievement difficulty. Uh, offline achievements is 30 for 1,000, and it's 10 to 15 hours to do. Anybody disagree with anything that I just said? And you can't disagree with no. the number of achievements. Nope. That sounds good. All right. Johnny Murder, how many points you got in this game? Uh, 850. So you're missing that last achievement, right? Yes, I am. So the game's pretty straightforward. You've got some collecting to do, and... Eric, you, a while ago, this game is now viral, but the, a while ago, I think I sent this game back to you and you cleaned it up. Is I think the I, only thing... I think it was my game. Yeah. And I sent it to you, right. like, play this game. And then you beat it, and I'm like, send it back. I gotta <laughs> do that. Right? It's kind of what happened to me and Rav with uh, uh, Sonic. Or not yeah. Sonic, Sega. Sega. Um, so anyways, yeah. So you play the game. You play it on, like, whatever difficulty, e or normal, or if there is difficulty, I can't remember. But um, play it on, whatever, there's no difficulty achievements. And um, you've got to do this collection. So there's a guide on X360A made by uh, Rasta PR, and there are different things you have to collect. Uh, there is uh, letters... Calypso pieces and Jackanisms chests, right? Yep. Yep. So the Jackanisms aren't they the orbs or whatever that you have to get to fully power your dude? Like you get one of these Jackanism chests and well, no, you, you get a no, you get an orb, or you get a little mini shrunken heads, right? Mm -hmm. And then once you get a, a full one, you're allowed to open a Calypso chest. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, it, like, that's the that was the toss up: is do I want to use this head to open a chest, or do I want to activate the head and kill people to get souls? Right, right, right. Yeah, that was the dilemma. So, so with this, like, there's a few jackanism, like the calypso pieces, you can you can get immediately, but the jackanism one, you need to spin those shrunken heads for, right? Yep. Because the the first we're, level, we're telling you to get get the chest. If you got yeah, this gold, yeah. get the chest. Get the chest. And, okay. and there's a problem with, like, the first level because you – it's, like, right at the beginning. So yeah, and you don't have like, access to the skulls. Yeah. You have to progress further in the game and then yeah. get Yeah, so you got to kind of go back and play that level again. But um, basically this game is a playthrough and two levels, right? So it's a playthrough plus the one level to do to get the last Jackanism chest, and then it's a really grindy playthrough on the last level, right? Yeah, if you're following a guide, there's seven letters on each level. Okay. So and then one Calypso piece and one Jackanism chest, right? Yeah. Uh, well, some, I think one or two levels I think, don't have Calypso pieces. Well, and I think some levels have more than just one Jackanism chest, maybe. I and don't know. There's, well, there's seven, there's seven like collectible deals. Like The first level has letters, and the next level has seven periwigs, and the next level has seven Nautilus shells. So they're different stuff. And I think there's oh, yeah. one right. that, yeah, like a just, single... Just click on, see this guide located on every achievement on right. Xbox360Achievements.org. Right. And it'll bring you to a guide with all the collectibles, because there's collectibles in every level. And I guess the guide was... And achievements tied with collectibles in every track. level. Yep. 25 points. So, so, so yeah, play the that. game, get all the uh, guides, right? Or get all the collectibles. They're right? not hard to find. It's just you don't want to miss one. It's a pain in the no, butt to go no, back. No, because you have play. to play through the whole level again. And I think you have to complete the level, right? Cause yeah, it it's just safe. no good. Yeah. So, so those are important. Are there any tips while you're playing the game that we can give out that you can think of that maybe you were struggling with or? Not really. I played this entire game offline, so this was like back when I first started the Xbox. Yeah. 
360, and uh, and then I went back and cleaned up that one achievement. So this is all just off the top of my head. Run, run as fast as you can through that game. Just don't miss yeah. your collectibles. Right. The game sucks. The so game. Make the it, game make it through as fast as you can. The game's pretty bad, but it's easy. You know, the and fighting is retarded. It's like yeah. you sword the dude three times, and then you hit a different button, and yeah, he's dead. To do a special move, right? Yeah. So, the um, so Johnny Murder, you can attest that this so far, it's it's easy, right? It's an easy eight fifty. Easy, yeah, exactly. It's and easy. it's it's not very time consuming as either. Like maybe eight hours to do the well. Nine nine to ten hours to do the story mode and get all clean up, right? And then you'll have a little grind, right? Yeah, exactly. I I did my eight fifty in probably one sitting, yeah. Yeah. So easy play through, the combat is terrible, it's very repetitive. But hey, I mean we don't we'll play anything as long as it has <laughs> a gamer score. So we don't doesn't really matter to us. Now, here's the problem with... And you get achievements at the end of each level, too. Exactly. So they're they're constantly popping. Right, right, which is good. Here's the problem with the game. Is that... um, You... You're playing the game, and you get these skulls, right? And you can can trade them for um, jackanism chests, like we said. Um, And there's, like, ten levels in the game, or whatever, maybe. Yeah. 11 levels. Uh, so you're spending at, you know, at most 33 skulls on these jackanism uh, chests, right? Yep. And you need to get 100 of these um, well, souls that you use to power up this, like, jackanism mode, I think it's called. Oh, no, no, dude. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, you get, you your, kill... get your little mini shrunken heads and then right. you activate yes, that. that that's and then you got to kill people in okay. order to get souls. I kind of in I, in a reverse order. I, I was trying to communicate the same thing. You don't have Are anything you... if you if you spent all your all your skulls on chest through the whole game, you should have zero, which doesn't matter because you're going to do them all at the end. But it doesn't matter. Right. So you'll have very few, if any. Right. Yeah. I, there's. I think I had a few skull or souls well but, and it's good if you're in a in a bind and you want to kill like 20 people real quick right just activate that and kill people so this this is like a special mode that you're activating with three shrunken heads yep and and you can activate it with one shrunken head too right it just doesn't last as long yeah so um it's it's basically to get you out of binds and it's one hit kills so i think i averaged like five to seven enemies like like when you're just doing it normal yeah just doing just and that's waiting for them all to get around you before you activate it and crap or actually isn't it you have to activate it away from them because if you activate it and they're close by it kills them well it does that and the problem you don't get the soul so you got to activate it away and then run in and attack them well to get so okay there's a few there's a few problems that you're going to come across with boosting these last couple um or last hundred souls, right? Um, you should, according to this guide, you should have about thirty to fifty souls on your playthrough. So, and I think I had about thirty. Like, I, I didn't have very many, so I had to boost the majority of them, right? And you have to. It was, it's something weird where you have to play the whole game, or or souls that you collected. <laughs> it wouldn't be a podcast without a phone going off. <laughs> um, not my phone. It wouldn't. Sorry. It wouldn't be a. Uh, it. Oh, I just lost my complete train of thought. Um, these souls suck. Right. Yeah. These are bad. So, but you. I think if you don't. Oh, this is what it is. If you don't get more souls than your previous level. Yeah. They don't save. Exactly. And so if you, if you get, got twenty in the first level. You have to get 25, and then you got five yeah, more. Yeah, you get five counts. more, right? So that's the problem. That is, sucks. Is on this last level, I think it's I, Isla Crucis, right? Yeah. It's, it's like this port area. You might have gotten 10 on that level. Well, you got to get 110 for it to count. Yeah, your, because because the game a, just sucks so bad. Like yeah. maybe it's like, not. Maybe it's going to work out good. 
It didn't for me. It didn't for Kyle. But maybe it'll work out good for you to where you finish the game with 30 or 40, and then you go to the last level, and you're sitting there grinding at how we're going to tell you. Right. And you get 60, and your achievement pops, and you can quit that game as quick as you can. So, but not for us. Not for us, no. So on, on this level, you have a companion, right? And you're trying to escape this area. Two well, companions. Yeah, so you have to lock them into this area. Um, it's kind of like a cave esque area, and it's yeah, not like a, a, a drop. So you have to you have to do it before you use the zip line. I'm pretty sure to get one of them in there, and then the other one you have to. Um, well, no, they can both be out because I remember trying to wrangle them in there, right. and like you would, you would I let one in there, and then I zip line down there. And then I remember I opened the gate to get the other person in there, and then the other person walked out of the walked gate. Out, right. Yeah. So then I had them both out, and it just took some MacGyvering. You got to walk. Once you get into the little dungeon after you open the door, you got to walk all the way to the cliff, like all the way into the cave, and yeah. make sure that and they you they're can go all the way the back. Side. Oh, can you jump? Yeah. Well, you can back? you can jump, and that's how you close the door. Like you have to jump up the the ivory real quick and then close the door on them close yeah. the close the gate on them so, so you, you gotta so trap your two people in there that way basically they don't die right i mean they exactly don't, yeah you don't got to worry about them yeah so those, and they're not those stealing people, your kills or anything like that right right those people are trapped and so now it's just luck basically and grinding so the luck part comes because there might be spells when you're killing people. There's a that, it's a boss fight that you're doing. Yeah, like you're and, running. And away so what happens is the boss gets his, a, his attention is directed towards your teammates, but he right. can't hit them because they're trapped in that little cage. It's all coming back. It, now. it all works good, and then it's just infinite spawning enemies on the beach. So yeah, the boss the boss is preoccupied by your enemy or your computer players, and then the uh, infinitely spawning enemies come out of the water. Right. Yep. And yep. you, you kind of just like walk around and kill people. And these enemies will drop shrunken heads, but who knows? It's really random. It's like 10% I mean, chance. So you're going to sit there and kill a bunch to it, get it's, these souls. It's way too many. Right. And here's the problem, too, is that you got to clean off the map of stuff regularly. Because when you don't get a shrunken head from someone, they might drop ammo, they might drop. Uh, coconut uh, bomb thingy. yeah coconut they they drop a lot of just stupid stuff right uh revolvers and stuff that you don't need because you're using it in your sword right yeah and it just clutters the map especially underwater like that's a lot of stuff that you i think it shows it on your mini yeah or something like yeah. that uh, Does that it, cause your game to freeze yep, or something? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so much items on those. So I, I did not do a very, I guess, a very good job of cleaning off the map as much as possible. And what you can do is you can take these bombs and just throw them into the water. You know, just yeah, get rid of throw them. Throw them in the water. Be Shoot careful. Your pistol constant. Yeah, be careful because if you throw them into the water, then it's probably going to have the same effect too. Uh, one thing as well that you want to worry about is try to do your, uh, like, once you get your three skulls, because that gives you the most time to kill people. Yeah. Um, try. Don't do, it, don't do it near coconut bomb. <laughs> no, yeah. That, it'll, it'll go off and it'll yeah, kill you. Yeah, it'll kill you and then it doesn't save. And then this whole part. You're not you're not saving. So yeah, don't die. You can't die. It can't it's freeze. It's not hard though. It no. It's it's not. It's time consuming. Just don't stand on coconut bomb. And just try <laughs> to just cycle through everything. You know, like use it up as much as you can, just to just to keep the map as clean as so, possible. So so they're gonna get three skulls, three shrunken head thingies. Three then they're shrunken gonna be heads in there. Go. Activate this mode. They're going to run away from all the coca bo coconut bombs right. and the enemies. Run yep. away from them, yep. activate yep. your thing, and then yep. run into your enemies. Most likely they'll be in the water, and you'll notice where spawn points happen. So you'll want to run out uh, onto the beach, you know, but not too far because you want to take advantage of this mode as much as possible. Yeah, just run around in circles until you think it's, until you think it's good, until you yeah. get 10 kills then, at least. And then activate it. And just start mowing down people. You know, yep. just your sword, it's one hit kills, you just flip, flip, and then you just keep going, you know. And you could probably, I'd say maximum, you probably get 10. 
Uh, I, yeah, I don't it, it just getting... doesn't th- last that long or yeah, anything. Yeah, it doesn't. So then you got to grind for more and wait till they drop three more skulls and you can use them. Yep. The problem is there's no way to know how many skulls you got, or souls you got, I think, right? It doesn't tell you. So you just kind of got to guess or wait for it to unlock, right? Because it will unlock yep. in game, right? Yep, yep. So you just got to keep going and just wait for it to unlock in game. And when it does, that's it. You're done. But yep. don't, 150 points. Don't do what happened to me, which was kind of get a little anxious and like, all right, I'm just going to activate it right now in this water. And then because there's <laughs> stuff you can't grab and then the game freezes and you're sitting there. I literally stared at the TV for probably a good like five minutes. Like, yeah. Oh. I remember you talking about it, dude. That was bad because, like, they weren't counting all of the skulls that we did pick up. I went back to it, and that was the only achievement that I needed to complete. And I'm like, okay, I already got, like, 40. And I tried going back to other levels and grinding. This is before I was looking at guides or anything. And it wasn't working out, so I said, screw that. But then I went back. And it wasn't counting the 40 that I had. I sat there for, like, an hour and a half or two hours grinding out my whole 100 but then the achievement popped in the level and i just straight quit it didn't care about saving who gives a crap just get it out well and that's the problem i mean this game is not difficult it's terrible but it's pretty it's pretty easy to get the big problem is the the time commitment to sit there for two hours and grind this out yep if and it's not that, it's, it's not easy. mindless grinding because you're constantly running and dodging, attacking enemies. Right, right. And you can't throw coconut bombs. You can't be dying, <laughs> you know. You can't be dying, and you got to just be very wary of how much stuff is on the ground, and where you're throwing bombs, and where you're activating this stuff. Because yeah, you're right. If you activate your the main key is where you activate it. If you activate your jackanism on a bomb, then you're gonna blow up and die, and it's gonna be like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? And you got to do all that over again. So just be yep. careful of your surroundings when you're doing this game. But it, you know, we make it sound bad, but we we're just wanting you to be prepared and be, you know. That's the only achievement that you have to worry about if you're following a collectible guide. Right. Because if you're not, then it's gonna suck. Right. Because some of this stuff is just kind of in weird places, like. It's not, it's one not of those that games. bad, but it's just you don't want to replay it more than you have to. Right. It's one of those games that, yeah, you, it's not fun, so it's not fun collecting, obviously. So just do yourself a favor and start with a guide from the beginning. I know sometimes I don't want to. I just want to play it. But this is one of those games where, no, it's better just not to play it more than you have to. Yep. Yeah. So. So after all of that, have we convinced you? Mr. Murder, to pick this game back up, maybe off Viral Games, because it is available on Viral Games, and uh, get that 150 points. Well, no. (laughs) No, No, actually, I probably will, because it's it's another one of those scars. It's one thing to have five points in the game and never touch again. It's another thing to know that you've got 850 in it, and you're missing one achievement. Yeah, it's always that one achievement left. If this achievement was worth, like, 10 points then I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But since right. it's worth a hundred and tw- or hundred and fifty points, like that's right. a lot. That's a big achievement. I mean it is two hours of your time. Yeah. And, and it's worth it. We've it's worth it. we've grinded worse. So I you know, I, I think for hundred and fifty points it's worth it. Some of these other games that are requiring you to do all this crap for twenty five points, like that's right. not worth it. Yeah, so it's definitely points, on my to do list. Yeah. So you have a copy of the game already sitting there or what? Sitting right here looking at me. All right. It's evil there you go. Easy. Yeah. Once you complete it, then you can forget it. That's the good <laughs> part. You can donate to Viral Games if you wanted to. Get us another copy in there. There we go. Speaking of which, I should have a nice little pile of games coming your way. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yep. Oh. Ones I'll never touch again. 